uh, started uh, the project way back in 2000 almost. But the name Art and Life came much later. It came in 2009. So it's almost like, uh, you know, 40 years. As other years, we normally uh, focus on certain states. So we went to Lucknow and we uh, really went uh, deep into the city and all the karigari that goes on and we were helped enormously by the Begum of Mehmudabad. Her name is Vijaya Khan and she very kindly made arrangements for us to see the very best. And uh, through her and some other uh, friends from the academic world, we managed to uh, go into the interiors and also discover through various NGOs a lot of very exclusive work that comes uh, from the Lucknow region. And this has been happening for many, many uh, centuries and it still lives. It's very precarious, almost dying, but uh, we did f uh, find some very exciting things. Now this is Zardosi at its finest, very contemporary um, design of a scarf. It has a little butterfly, but this butterfly is so intricate and so detailed and so delicate, you know. So you really see the very best. And look at the edgings. It's uh, the hem that you normally find at the edgings, you know. And that they have done with Badla and Zeb. This is another piece which is very, very contemporary. And this is the Mukesh one, you know, the Badla as we call it. And this is, um, they call it the Tukre. It's not applique, but it's these uh, pure strips of material which are joined and then you make various uh, articles out of that. So you know, this chicken curry work is uh, done with badla and of course uh, stitching. And it's a kind of shadow stitching that is used. And this is so delicate. And this is a, one of the most expensive saris in this exhibition. Lakhna is also famous for its uh, engraving work and also for the inlay works. Inlay works are known as bidri. But of course now Bidri work is very rare and far between, you don't find them that easily. And the engraving work of course is beautiful and that is what we are showing you here. The work which is done on marble and it's done with metal and stones and it's very very exotic. The other place we concentrated this year was on the Udaipur belt. Udaipur has a lot of uh, tradition of um, uh, handcrafting and um, making of beautiful items on textile, on metal, and also on wood and uh, ivory. This is a beautiful old shield, which normally you have a lot of uh, inlay work, which is done on the metal, but this is unique in the sense that it is a painted shield on metal. Uh, the tigers and the animals that you see, the camels, they're all, and the elephants, they're all painted, almost like Kaligat Bhattachitra style, you know. We have also focused this year uh, on the Katha making. This is Mahua Lahiri. She's an award winning uh, Katha maker, and her, some of her works have taken five to ten years, and they have been shown at the Victoria and Albert and at the uh, Royal Academy and at the Philadelphia Museum as well. This is an exquisite sari uh, which has been woven by award-winning, national award-winning uh, weaver, uh, Mr. Bajri from Andhra Pradesh. And this particular sari has got the national award this year. This is a unique sari which again has been designed by a national award-winning um, Shilpa Guru, B. Krishnamurti from the Tamil Nadu area, uh, from the Kanchipuram district. And it's a unique sari which has some of the elements of finest weaving. Set of uh, five or six designers uh, who are uh, very distinguished and they're doing very unique work. Among them is Sonam Dubal, who is from Delhi, and we have some beautiful uh, exclusive uh, jackets and long dresses by him, and Roshan Chaudhary, and uh, this is her work, and it's based on a lot of embroidery and a lot of indigo. So we've got a lot of other organizations who have joined hands with us this time, 
and they have brought forward a whole array of exquisite um, you know, uh, fabrics, uh, ready to wear and also uh, scarves and materials. So we have a whole array of exquisite and one of the finest, uh, you know, uh, a kind of curated um, range of uh, saris from across India. And I hope that uh, our viewers and our buyers and our lovers of Seema's art and life would come and enjoy themselves and enjoy not only seeing, but they will also support the weavers by uh, acquiring some of the precious uh, articles that they have presented.